a lot of Idaho and parts of western Montana. Then the bigger system comes in, and this one will bring a lot of heavy rain and snow to a lot of the interior areas of the northwest before another system lifts out of the south and brings in first a warm front, bringing in that warm air, and then the chance for some very heavy rain and even snow Sunday into Monday. This system too has some pretty deep moisture and that will actually extend all the way down into a lot of California. And then the rain will move into parts of Eastern Washington and Oregon and the snow extending into parts of Idaho, Montana, and even Utah as well. So you paint on all of these totals and we have some spots in the mountains that could get more than 12 inches of snow generally, but then there are a couple pockets in here that are a little hard to see, but we could get in excess of 24 inches of snow in some spots. That would be a lot of snow. And then on the coastal areas where we could get some pockets of heavy rain anywhere from three to five inches. And the potential for flooding is there over the next couple days if we get too much rain in too short of a time frame. This is just a, one of our top weather headlines though. We also have to talk about making what's ahead for January. You know, we just started a new year and a new month and uh, it's exciting to think about what could be ahead. And it's a fresh start, totally. Uh, Weather-wise, I know we're still kind of talking about one system that overlaps, but there it is in, uh, in Times Square in New York City. Ball drop way different from previous years, but um, admittedly, Kara, I was probably snoring through that part. Mm -hmm. I stayed uh, up. Well, that's good, yeah, you, yeah. you stayed up then. I yeah. had well, to you. I napped and then I woke up for like 10 minutes and then I went back yeah. to sleep. But yeah. I call that staying up. Yeah, no, absolutely, getting up for it. To me, it was uh, going to sleep in one year and waking up in another, always yeah. exciting. So let's talk about our headlines. And a happy new year to you, bringing in the 2021 year with happy wintry mix to the Midwest, the Northeast, and wet and windy weather in the Southeast, and more of that rain and snow, as Kara mentioned, in the Northwest. So today's snapshot, is that big storm system in the eastern United States, every type of precipitation with it, with the next Pacific front arriving. And then that accumulation through tonight is going to be on the icy side, right into the parts of the Midwest, the Great Lakes, the Appalachians, and heavy rain in the Southeast US, and then just starting to capture that precip forecast in the Northwest. Highs today nationwide will be cooler back to Dallas at about 43 degrees. Some places in the southeast, very warm compared to average. Take Atlanta, for instance, we're about 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of the year for January 1st. So we did a couple of mild pockets. And speaking of, as we look at the outlook longer term, the next six to 10 days, it takes us out to January 7th to 11th in this window. Warmer than average weather favoring much of the country except for the southwestern United States. And that'll be the case through mid-January while we actually stay in a bit of a more active pattern where we could have more precipitation across much of the country. When the weather is busy, you know you can turn to us here at Weather Nation and we'll cover it for you. We hope you have a great day and a great year.